an autoimmune disease means that uh, your immune system that normally will attack foreigners like virus and bacteria in your body is a little bit damaged. And of course, mistakenly, uh, it just attacks your healthy tissues. Uh, there are some molecules that we have in our, in our immune systems that are called autoantibodies or antibodies. Uh, and in this case, they are autoantibodies because they are attacking our own system. So this is rheumatoid factor, our autoantibody. Uh, and yes, we can have, uh, normally 80% of people with rheumatoid arthritis has uh, a positive rheumatoid factor um, autoantibody, but there is uh, a resting 20% of people without it uh, that also have rheumatoid arthritis. And the other way around, we can have it with people that have positive rheumatoid factor without, without actually developing the, the symptoms because uh, the pathophysiology of rheumatoid arthritis, it's a little complex. Uh, so we, as always, we have to develop a test that might let us identify the biggest amount of population, but definitely there's not one test that serves all of the population. So this is like the best, as Dr. Martinez was saying, about 80% of people have it, so it's a very good test to confirm, but there will be certain cases in which uh, we, we don't find it positive, but the symptoms and the deformities and everything are so suggestive of the condition that we say they have it, even when the rheumatoid factor is negative. 